Hence, these intolerable incidents will occur with greater frequency, unless something is done. And what do you suggest be done? If he continues to mortify and embarrass our audiences with his inflammatory remarks about prejudice in the North, I, for one, am, am ready to cut loose from him. Mr. Garrison, I do not understand a man who can advocate union with the slaveholders and at the same time spread disunion among his own abolitionist supporters. Well, what do you propose that Frederick do in order to regain your confidence? Oh, go right on, gentlemen. Three things. First, leave out the question of prejudice in the North from his lectures. Second, leave out the subject of secession until he has embraced a more traditional position. And third, since there will be more and more questions about his true origin, I suggest that he print his true name, the date of his birth, and the place of his birth. That's a heartless request. You know very well if Frederick reveals himself to be a fugitive slave, he will surely be returned to slavery. And if he does not, his usefulness to the cause of abolition will be hopelessly compromised. Oh. Uh, Mr. Phillips, the only thing that brought you and Mr. Garrison together with me is our common profession of faith and the freedom of all men. Of you, of Mr. Garrison, of Mr. Coffin, and of myself. Yes, you have loved me as a man, and you, Mr. Garrison, have used me as a speaker. Therefore, a large part of my freedom, at least, is entwined in the principles of free speech. Free speech, Mr. Garrison. I know you have fought very hard to strike the fetters from my hands and from my feet, but I must tell you that my appetite for freedom is unsatisfied. unsatisfied. For to be free in my body while my mind is still in chains is contrary to the nature of freedom. What matters if I lose my friends, if I gain the freedom to speak my mind? What matters if my black brothers will, will win the privilege to walk in the sunlight? if they have to walk at the end of your leash. If your freedom means no more than this, I am willing to give up the hypocrisy of abolition for the reality of slavery. 